today make clear we take our support for the people of Taiwan seriously and are determined to speak with one voice. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy ignoring China's warning, carrying out his scheduled meeting with Taiwan's president in California, one that China most definitely kept an eye on. Rejoining us now is retired Air Force Brigadier General, NATO advisor, and Newsmax contributor Blaine Holt. Back with us in studio, senior fellow with the America First Policy Institute and Newsmax contributor Fred Flights. Fred, great to have you. So McCarthy doubled down. He also said, basically, you're not going to tell us what we can and cannot do. I thought that message was so strong from him. It's something we would hope to hear from our president, but McCarthy's really just doubling down there. It's great. Two quick points. China cannot tell American officials who they can meet with. And, and not only did we have these public threats to the United States, the Chinese embassy sent emails to members of Congress warning them not to meet with President Tsai and not to go in this huge meeting that Congressman McCall led to Taiwan. But the second point is this, these visits are China's fault. They are the response to China's increased aggression against Taiwan. If China does not want us to be meeting with Taiwanese officials, to be engaging in diplomacy like this, China can stop threatening Taiwan. This is all Beijing's fault. Yeah, absolutely. Christian? General Holt, uh, Taiwan's president is now warning democracy is under threat while asking the U.S. to speed up arms deliveries as tensions with China simmer. How alarming is this sense of urgency? Well, Krisha, it's very alarming. The uh, Taiwanese need to have immediately the supplies that they have bought because these serve as the deterrent. Uh, you know, China's PLA is very nervous about what they saw happen between Ukraine and Russia. And they look at what could be a potential military uh, uh, incursion into Taiwan as blowing up in their face. They're right to think so. And it's not just equipment based. It's command and control. Uh, it's the way that they fight versus the way that uh, the Westerners fight. And Taiwan has formidable capabilities that they've developed on their own. The, the problem is, and get, getting back to Fred's point, is you've got the administration that seems to be in league with China or at least ignoring bad behavior from balloons to fentanyl, mm. uh, while we have the Congress led by uh, Speaker McCarthy uh, engaging in actual diplomacy and, and holding the Chinese accountable for their position. This split is not a good place. We need to be at the water's edge with our foreign policy, and China is absolutely taking advantage. Great point. General and Fred, I found it to uh, General Holt's uh, point. It, it was fascinating that Nancy Pelosi, the former speaker, actually supported. Uh, yeah. it, you know, it, she has been supportive very openly of Taiwan and was supportive of Kevin McCarthy. So there seems to be maybe a bit of a schism between some Democrats and the Biden administration. But um, they're at the Reagan. Uh, what a setting. The Reagan Library, right? Peace through strength. That was President Reagan's uh, concept. It was his way of dealing with our adversaries. How have we lost that strand today? And what can we do to uh, return ourselves to that formidable, peaceful way of dealing with our adversaries? There's no question the threat from China today is much worse than it was when Joe Biden entered office. This was supposed, this was supposed to be the adults in the room. They, they were going to get rid of uh, uh, Trump's diplomacy, which they thought was too confrontational, which was causing wars. We all know that's nonsense. Uh, President Trump kept us out of wars. He believed in peace through strength. Relations got worse because of the weakness of this administration, of what happened in Afghanistan, of an unserious foreign policy that makes climate change a priority. The mm -hmm. Chinese saw an opportunity. They're exploiting American weakness. They're exploiting a president who they, do, who they don't think is capable of being commander in chief. How do we fix this? We need another president who will be decisive and knows how knows peace through strength and America first. Yeah, a president who's not going to take take anything who's going to stand strong. Uh, General Holt, so the Chinese military, they're staging, you know, large-scale military exercises around Taiwan. We saw them do this before. Um, what do you make of this? How concerned, you know, should Taiwan be? How, how concerned should we be? Well, we should all be concerned. We should never take what they do militarily lightly. I think we're going to see a repeat of what happened uh, after the Pelosi visit. I like to call it Operation Fish Kill. Uh, <laughs> they throw a bunch of missiles into the water and, you know, raise their angry words at their wolf warrior stage. 
Um, but what we shouldn't look beyond is that China domestically is a basket case, and it's trending worse. Their collapse of their real estate sector, they can't feed their people. There is tremendous uh, unemployment. The shipyards are all just stacked up with empty containers, and the, the ships are not moving. Uh, Xi Jinping does not care about that because he is an incarnation of Mao Zedong. He cares about Belt and Road Initiative and bringing together the BRICS in a multinational security to push the dollar away. Um, but let don't knock out the Chinese people. They are very upset with the CCP, and they could be a variable here very soon. All right. We will keep an eye on it. General Blaine Holt, appreciate it for our flights. Thank you so much.